Hello, beautiful Three Sisters and Three Sisters family, large family here on Facebook. Sorry for the delay, but of course, when you start something courageous, you have all kind of challenges. And um, so welcome to our Courageous Conversation, the first one here. This is a celebration of women's voices on behalf of LIE. And I want to welcome um, Christine and see if I can include her. Christine, I think you should be live with us now. And uh, Christine. Hi, 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 Pauletta. Christine. Hi, Christine from Switzerland. Dana, welcome here. Wonderful, wonderful. So we want to celebrate this tapestry of courageous voices that we have been creating here in Three Sisters on behalf of life. And um, we are just waiting for Christine to join us. Let's see. Hi, Jan. Hi, Maria. Beautiful. Everyone is here. Hi. Hi, Vanessa. So the idea is to celebrate women's voices in behalf of life, as I was saying. And we do think that every one of us count. And uh, everyone makes a difference. And um, today, our first guest uh, is a woman in the United States who things that each one of us has an amazing dream to fulfill and she has been working for the trees for many years uh let's see why uh, she can't join us christine christine can you ask to be added again and see if we can uh let me see i will add you now here We are waiting for Kristen. Bear with me here. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Raquel. Done. Let's see if we are trying again. Why she can't. Christine, make sure that your camera is connected to your Facebook application. <laughs> I think you have your camera, Christine, that you need to connect. Yes or not? Okay, this is what's happening on the Facebook Live. Christine, are you here? Can you connect your camera on your phone? Let's see. Hi, Angelique. Hi, Raquel, Vanessa. Let's see, where is, I think we lost Christian. Christian, where are you? Can you connect your camera probably? Because I think you are in the call already, Christine. Let's see. Mm. <clears throat> Hi, Jorun. So we are waiting for Christine to join us with her camera. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. I think I added you already. That's why. Hi from Spain. Jerome, hi, I'm from Spain as well. Okay. Christine, I don't know what to do because maybe we need to start again. Okay, so why don't we do this? We stop this and we start again. Because I can't add you, darling. Okay, so let's do this. I will, I will stop this live, Christine. Yes, hi, Christine, I see you. But why? Uh, yes. Here we are. Yes, here we hi. are. Okay, I'm going to get my mia. little gizmo so you can see me a little bit better. Go ahead, introduce me. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, it takes courage to launch something, right? That's why it we does. are talking about courage conversation. Because, my God, in the face of all this audience, and here we are in this ridiculous Facebook. Good morning. Okay. Good morning, Christine. Good to see good, you. Good Thank afternoon. You so much. Thank you, Samuel. Mm. Thank you for inviting me. Yes, beautiful. So I was just uh, trying to introduce you while I was waiting. And uh, you are a tree sister for, for quite some time now. Actually, I... I'm a tree sister since about this time last year. Mm. I, you know, I've been a tree sister my whole life in that I am hugging, talking to, climbing, hanging out with, and loving trees. <laughs> uh, being, being a member of this organization is about 12 months, maybe 13 months at this mm. point. Mm. Yeah, but you, you have your, your career in ecology, right, as a scientist? So, so yes, I'm actually at a, a major turning point in my career. Mm. I was 19 years working with the Water Board, a state of California mm. agency, protecting water and mm. water for the use of all life, not just water mm. for human life, but mm. for, for all life. Mm. And in July, I, I left that job to to launch my own business which is in support of communication mm, so people beautiful. talking to each other people talking to themselves and people very much in, in communication with earth that's that's a part of what i'm doing beautiful and why why are you part of three sister what does it mean to you be part of three sister so i think it's useful to first explain that there's two there's two levels to being a part of tree sisters mm. so one of them is that every month I'm able to give a donation to plant trees. And to me, that's a lifeline. I, I can't, I don't think I can be sane in this world without having that, that possibility. I don't think that I can manage looking around at the life and, and craziness around us without being able to plant trees. And it's not just planting trees, which I do. I don't know if you can see, I'm, I'm sitting amongst many trees that my husband and I have planted <laughs> here in California, but planting trees in the tropics is planting mother earth's lungs mm. is replanting mother earth's lungs mm. and mm. and it affects the the weather system of the entire planet planet for us to be able to plant trees in the tropics so for me i'm someone that needs to do something practical i can't manage if i'm not and so that's one half of tree sisters and that's where my donation goes every month and then the other half of tree sisters is a spiritual community a spiritual community grounded in life and restoration and healing. And so I have been participating very, very closely in this community for the last 12, 13 months. And it's, I think that Claire can talk about this more eloquently than I, but we have an inner journey map that we follow, which is five different points on, on a star that is shaped like the human body. 
and one side goes through qualities that we might consider feminine and the other side goes through qualities that we might consider masculine and the feminine side is about like if we would say the in breath like we need to breathe in and the out breath would be the masculine and to bring that back into balance and so for me to have found this place that understands that there cannot be action without spiritual grounding is just right on mm-hmm. and and it has fed me and nourished me and supported me to not only be active in tree sisters so we were just talking about that monthly donation, but I'm also going to be becoming a, what we call a water carrier, which means mm. that portions of my business proceeds are also going to go to Tree Sisters. Mm. So, so Tree Sisters supports that, but also has been an incubator for me. Mm. So all of these things that I'm doing, like leaving a job that I've had for 19 years to start to, to fully launch this business that is the gift of me, the, the gift of me to this world that that would have happened, but it probably would have happened slower. So with tree sisters, it's supporting, accelerating, nourishing and providing, uh, like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just laughing at the imagery that's coming through me, like a bubbling cauldron of wonderfulness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, that's why uh, Claire call it, uh, you know, uh, she speaks about alchemy, right? I think it's, it's right. that, uh, that container where all this transformation can happen in a, in a safe, in a safe uh, environment, you know, being held for us to Any... take the courage because what we are speaking about here, you know, courage, how do we, how do we leave the comfort or the systems or the places that are familiar to step into our potential, into our light and, right. and play or occupy a bigger place than, than us or our life. Yes. Uh, contributing, weaving uh, a new tapestry, new ways. Right. And that takes courage, but not the courage of like, yeah, I'm going to battle. It can be also a courage that is cultivated in a collective, uh, in this collective cauldron. Yeah, it, it is. And I, I think it's, it's useful. You're talking about w- what is courage? Is it like, like, let's go to battle or is it, it actually to me feels like it's we're talking about trees and we are also very much like trees. We are rooting down. Mm-hmm. And so trees create nourishment for each other. They take care of each other. They send nutrition to each other through their own roots and through the mycelia connections. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing in the Tree Sisters Inner Journey on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing in the monthly meditation calls that that we have. And these are resources that are available and open to, to, to whoever wishes to join. It's right now it's a space for women. And I understand that Tree Sisters as an organization is exploring whether to provide a similar space platform for co-ed conversations for non-binary people to join for everybody for for men and women but right now it's about women and I think that courage is also necessarily including healing and for those Mm. of us well there's so much healing that's needed on this planet for those of us that share the ancestry of European heritage we have to know about the witch burnings we have to understand that there was 300 years of women being persecuted for being healers. And so when we find that we want to bring our gifts to the world and those gifts are spiritually grounded and those gifts are in protection of the world, most of us hit an incredible wall of fear, mm. like panic attack fear, like shaking, like nightmares, like all sorts of, <laughs> like, I'm seeing a lot of response on the Facebook feed right now. We know how that feels. And so this place, not only did the inner journey kick off with an interview with Pat McCabe, who has made it part of her life work to go back and heal these spaces and memories, Hmm. but it's been an open place for us to talk about not only the memories that we might feel in our bones, or maybe some of us have past life memories, but just the cultural impact that that's had on us the fact that our great great grandmothers lived through that that it's it's we as women to rise in our courage need a place where people can hug us online (laughs) Mm -hmm. and help us know that we're safe and help Mm -hmm. us through that 
So for me, that's been a, a tremendous important part of this because it does bring back memories for me. Be, and when we talk about courage, I have to metabolize those memories. I have to alchemize those memories. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And also, I think um, this this inner and outer journey that we are doing through Three Sisters, it's, it's as you said, this, it's this practical or this experiential and the embodiment of oneness, yes, that really remembering and feeling and seeing that we are connected <laughs> we are, to we each are other uh, because the field that we co-create together, you know, it's, it's, it's collective, but we are all, all in these individual journeys, but also in connection to nature. There is no separation. She is not something that I access when I, it's convenient for me. Yes. I mean, we, we are always... Um, breathing yes together we are we are and the seasons and to, yeah mm-hmm. to to feel mm-hmm. that to let ourselves feel that mm-hmm. is so so tremendous and mm-hmm. and so when we talk about the in breath and the out breath mm-hmm. you know we're we're kicking off the tree sisters month of activate with these phone calls right yes. so it's us being active but before we were active and this is a spiral right so we might any of us might be in any point in this spiral but before we were active we also went through reveal in that what is that connection of oneness what is it that we truly are what is the miracle and the mystery of what we are Mm -hmm. and then into embrace where we feel that connection with each other and with everything Mm -hmm. and and then after that into embody where we feel where we Mm -hmm. understand in our body what that means so so here we are now into activate and so having gone through those three steps before we go out there and try to do anything that we feel our connection, that we feel our bodies, that we feel our, our, the body of the earth before we try to do something. And what marvelous changes this world is going to see as more of us behave this way. Yeah, absolutely. I love that you mentioned reveal because um, in my experience, uh, when we reveal our uniqueness, for, especially for us women, is a way to rewrite this conditioning of comparing with each other and competing with each other, which is how women um, uh, are separated from each other. And that's what, you know, the sister who doesn't, can't really take roots and, 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 and grow and support us and carry us if we are competing with each other, right? So I find that this, this, uh, you know, the first step being revealed as you enter um, is beautiful from that place as well, you know, a way of restoring sisterhood, just as you said, trees are unconditionally there for each other. They are, and they don't grow up into the, each other's space. Yeah. Each tree has its place. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so if every tree can have their place, every woman can have their place, every human being can mm-hmm. have their place. And we do actually all have our place. And I think for me, this moment in time of, uh, leaving a job that was a very relevant job to me in terms of, of serving water quality and on behalf of all life was a beautiful place to be. And yet it was also something I had grown out of and to, to trust, to trust my inner sense of knowing and my inner sense of direction is that ingredient in serving life, right? For all of us to trust inside what is our set of instructions for this life? Hmm. What is our set of instructions? Because that set of instructions inherently connects us to everyone else in a way that is co-nurturing, in a way that is co-supportive. So, so that's, I think, yeah, to just circle back to why, why am I a tree sister? Hmm. Because tree sister is this magnificent container for me being me. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. And helps me go out into the world. It's my it's my warm bowl of oatmeal in the morning before I <laughs> before I go off and do what I need to do. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful. And Christine, you mentioned that you you with your new um, business, you are becoming a water carrier for for yes. the trees. Right. Why is that important for you? Linked to your business uh, as a water carrier. So I'm mm. um, well. So. A water to be a, right now. I'm I'm making a monthly donation, mm-hmm. out of pocket. And when I'm a water carrier, 
tree sisters can grow with my business. My business can grow with tree sisters. And in addition to, so, so what I'm doing in the, in the near horizon is I'm going to have an online training for families and couples to help them talk to each other better and communicate mm-hmm. with themselves better. It's called fight to better. It's using conflicts to, it's basically alchemizing conflict to take a conflict and find the doorway to peace and higher understanding. So in that I am making an inherent connection to trees by, by having a portion of the, of each proceed, every family that comes through and uses the training for healing will also be planting trees. And I think that in itself is extremely important for people to say, wow, I'm healing my family today. I'm healing my family from the past and I'm healing my family from the future and we're all planting trees. So that matters. And, and also my business plan in general includes every single element of what I'm doing includes a pathway for sharing resources. So in addition to the water carrier element, I will be making a gift for every purchase that will go to an individual in need. And that is a self-selecting process. So whoever signs up can be one of those people. And I'm also opening that up to people that are not human. I'm opening that up to mountains. I'm opening that up to rivers. I'm opening that up to forests. I'm opening that up to animals. Of course, there's going to be a human person going to the bank and cashing a check on behalf of the mountain. But I want to encourage that understanding that all nature is alive, that this earth is alive and sentient and and is a person. And we must start thinking of everyone around us as being people. Mm-hmm. So um, some of my people friends. <laughs> Beautiful. Mm. Wonderful. Thank you so much. What would you, what, what do you think it's, it's important to leave as a message or as, a, as an invitation for women who are not part of Three Sisters doubting to join us, whatever that is for the inner journey or as a donation or, or what your careers for those who are uh, already having a business and want to, to join? So, what would be so your invitation? I would, I would say, I guess, two things. One, one thing that I've, I've been gifted with this message recently from my guides is that fear is the safe coating on the outside of the seed that is you. And so if you're fe- feeling fearful, wait until you don't feel fearful because that's when it's the right time to plant yourself. So there's that. I want to just put that out there. If people are feeling, well, I want to do that, but I feel fearful. Well, wait until you don't feel fearful or until that's the smaller feeling and the bigger feeling is joy. So I would say if for those out there who are listening to this and think, wow, maybe I would like to join the inner journey. Come on in. You don't have to say anything right away. You don't ever have to say anything. You can just read and be there and participate and be held. And I want to make a plug for the online meditations those are actually through soundcloud you don't have to be on facebook at all for that and and as for men supporting tree sisters i think it's a wonderful way to say even though i might not be part of the inner journey community that i believe in this human reconnecting to the balance between the feminine and the masculine Mm -hmm. and i would like to support an organization that is helping that happen that is growing that that is rooting that because it will continue to spread. Like I was saying, it's like we've, we're like this bubbling cauldron of wonderfulness, but we're going to bubble over and, and, and our gifts are going to be seeding throughout the world. And, and it's an international community. And so mm. I think there's that as well. That's an incredible beauty. Like you're mm. in Spain right now and I'm in California. Yes. Here we are. Yes, exactly. We've been throughout the planet in every corner in the four every directions. Corner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, as I was saying in the beginning, uh, when we were waiting for you, um, we do this because we do believe every one of us matters, right? Uh, Whatever we are out there in a big mission or just, you know, smaller missions, and it's not a matter of size or reach, but it's truly really coming from a place of commitment and heart and awareness and consciousness um, that we are doing this. Mm. Absolutely. including everyone yeah celebrating all these voices and ideas and creativity uh that we have and, so many and how and how fantastic and joyful it is to witness that in each other 
mm. and and to feel so nourished by that, that that like you were saying it's not about there is no competition in this space mm. and how how many of us have actually experienced that in our life it's phenomenal yeah absolutely yeah yeah it's a it's a very important shift for us not 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 only as an idea no but as an experience like really experiencing safety amongst each other and uh yeah with our whole being with our whole being and to so alchemize yeah to to alchemize and to get to the point where we are healed mm. enough where we are mm. nourished enough rested mm. enough cared for enough to then act from a place of love and knowing what to do to act mm. from a place of knowing what to do mm. yeah i love that mm. Beautiful. So I want to let everyone know that uh, we will add the links to contribute and become part of Three Sisters uh, up in this video and down in the comments just to make sure they are everywhere <laughs> because I don't know how this will look like, but up and down below in the comments, you will have the link to join us and to contribute and become part of this incredible alchemical journey which is a journey inside out, yeah, at the inside end of the out, day. Inside out, absolutely. It absolutely is. Mm. At our own rhythm, yes, each one of us at our own rhythm, just like the trees. <laughs> just like the trees, absolutely. Mm. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, reaching out for that light that we know it's possible to restore in the world. Mm. As we reach down into the rich soil of our mother, it's mm. that absolutely. beautiful reaching up and reaching down at the same down time. Down again. Mm. Down and together. Mm beautiful yeah yeah absolutely down and together i love that vision mm. <laughs> mm. yeah beautiful mm. thank you so much christine for thank being you, here Samuel. i so appreciate the opportunity thank you for holding this space for these conversations i look forward mm. to hearing you and all the other women come forward yeah and thank share. you Mm, yeah me too it's going to be me and Poliana um, every Wednesday um, here on the Three Sisters official page so we are looking forward to um, hear all the amazing stories in sisterhood on behalf of life celebrating all of us mm, thank you so much for being here thank you so much it's been a thank pleasure you. thank you yeah thank you okay much love to everyone bye much love to you bye. and everyone too Bye, Christine. Bye.